Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the press point on the occasion of the launch of the coalition of the EU Covenant of Mayors and the United Nations Compact of Mayors. The local climate summit in Paris was the largest uh, global gathering so far of mayors, local leaders on the climate change. And I would say that it was a true milestone. Above all, it showed that when mayors roll up their sleeves, things happen. And things happen not only at the local level, but also, and I would say increasingly, so at the global level as well. In Paris, cities uh, became effective global actors. A global agreement requires global response, because cities and the regions should inspire each other and learn from each other's best practices. They shouldn't reinvent the wheel, and neither should they reinvent the shortest road to the low-carbon economy and society. Transition to a low-carbon economy and society is a real and urgent global need. But the history has shown that it's precisely when a humanity is uh, at the point of uh, the greatest need, it rises to the challenge. For that to happen, cities have to step in because cities really matter. We have to connect the dots between the global level, the regional level, and uh, the local level. That is why we launch uh, today this Global Covenant of Mayors for Climate and Energy as a new, powerful, and unique instrument to bring about this transition. People are the ones that use the energy. People are the ones that create the problem, but the people are also the solutions. So you would expect the solutions to come out of the cities where the problem comes from. And by having more cities, some put together by the EU, some put together by the United Nations, having them share best practices, having them speak with more of a unified voice, having them pressure federal governments and state governments to also help. And remember, federal and state governments have the money because they have the taxing power. They aren't where the problem is, but they are part of the solution. You can see where we're going. We're going toward urban areas, toward cities, towards megacities, clusters of megacities that are actually going to be determining the future of the world in no small measure. So what happens in cities is actually going to be the north, the guiding force of what happens around the planet, which is why we absolutely have to make sure that we are moving toward sustainable urbanization. That there are thousands of mayors who are actually very, very excited about this new alliance, and we'll be seeing this as a very bright future for each of their cities. The things are different after COP21 than before COP21. Mayors are now actors of the climate change. And what has been decided in Paris, the Paris Agreement is now taken into action and implemented in the cities before 2020. And that's really what mayors are doing. They are, they are taking what is decided into immediate and real actions together with citizens and all the stakeholders. We are really and truly excited that those two big initiatives are now one big soul reality.